Let's find the double angle for both the sine and cosine and the half angle for both the sine and the cosine of this current angle. So with the given information, what's based off of here is we know that the sine of theta is 3 fifths, which means that essentially that it's going to be, well, not drawn to scale exactly, but opposite is going to be 3 and the hypotenuse is going to be 5, which means uh, this down here is going to be 5 squared minus 3 squared, which is 16 squared, so that's 4. So I know that, so I know the cosine of theta is going to be equal to 4 over 5. So that helps me out right there. So first to find, I'm going to go work left to right here from A to D. I know sine of 2 theta is going to be equal to 2 times the sine of theta, which is 3 fifths, times the cosine of theta, which is 4 over 5. It's going to be equal to 2 times 3 times 4 over 5 times 5, which is equal to 24 over 25. Now for the cosine of 2 theta, or the double angle of, two, of cosine, we're going to end up, I can just choose my formulas here. I went ahead and I just listed my formulas here. Um, oops. Right up here. So based off of this, I can use any one of these I want. I'm just going to go ahead and use the second one right here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take the cosine squared. So the cosine was 4 over 5 my squared minus the sine squared, which is 3 over 5 squared, which ends up being 16 over 25 minus 9 over 25. Let me make sure I did that right. Yeah, that's right. So 16 minus 9, that's equal to 7 over 25. So that's what you have right there. Now we're going to move over to the half angle, starting off with the sine of the half angle of theta, which is going to be equal to plus or minus the square root of 1 minus the cosine theta, which I'm using this over here. So in this case, it's going to be um, 4 over 5 and then divided by 2. Now, hold on a second here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do this inside. So I'm going to convert this to 5 over 5 minus 4 over 5 over 2, which becomes uh, 5 over 5 minus 4 over 5. That's equal to 1 over 5. So we end up with plus or minus um, 1 over 5 divided by um, 2, which is equal to plus or minus the square root of 1 over 10, um, which is equal to plus or minus. I, you can put radical on top and bottom, but it ends up being 1 over root 10. But because we don't like the radical on the bottom, we just multiply by 10 over, over 10, which gives us plus or minus square root of 10 over 10. All right, so then for the cosine half angle, we'll come over here, cosine of theta divided by 2 plus or minus square root of uh, 1 plus the cosine theta, which is 4 over 5, divided by 2, which is going to be plus or minus. I'm not going to go through all the steps here, but I'll do a lot of them. 4 over 5 by 2, which ends up being plus, oops, plus or minus square root of 9 over 5 divided by 2, uh, 2 which ends up being um, uh, square root of 9, excuse me, plus or minus square root of 9 over 10. And then finally, uh, radical on the top and bottom, I get plus or minus 3 over the square root of 10. But if we don't like radicals there, just multiply that through. And you end up with plus or minus the square root of 3, uh, excuse me, it's not supposed to be square root of 3, um, 3 square root of 10 over 10. All right, that's it.